Breaking news. What seems to be a giant salesman sighted wreaking havoc on New York City. Causes of damages, cars, property, and even hot dogs as I've reported. The city is on edge of county for General Tater, the head of national security, to respond to the issue. Here's some live footage of the scene. I ain't know nothing about no goddamn biological cell. President Trump didn't tell me nothing about no biology. Ah, someone give me a goddamn science or something. Did someone say scientist? What? Isn't that a noble award winning scientist, Austin Aurelio? My God, he's about me with my goddamn trousers. So what can you tell me about this here cell? Can't we use Germans or something? With all due respect, sir, that's got to be one of the most idiotic ideas I've ever heard. According to my hypotheses, which are usually correct, that there's no way that cell is a bacteria. It's obviously you carry out. So what makes you say that, son of boy? Well, for starters, notice the cell's shape. It is round yet irregular, and it has an elastic moving membrane. Most prokaryotes do not have this property and instead have distinct shapes of a spiral, a sphere, or a rod. This round irregular shape leads me to hypothesize that it does not have a cell wall, which is something all prokaryotes have. It is quite possibly a eukaryotic animal cell. Furthermore, our x-ray scans reveal that the cell does indeed contain a nucleus, along with other membrane-bound organelles, confirming that it is not a prokaryote. Plus, this thing is huge! All prokaryotes are small. Man, if it was those goddamn civilians, I'd blow that goddamn thing up right now. <laughs> so tell me, what's the base of operations? How do we destroy it? I mean, if anything I learned in Vietnam is that you've got another enemy to win. Well, the nucleus is considered by many as one of the most important organelles in the cell. This is where the DNA is housed and where the process of interpreting and replicating it begins. Many of the cell's functions are regulated through the nucleus through gene expression, so it plays a key role in terms of controlling the cell. So what you're telling me is that that goddamn nuclear thing is the middle of the cell, that's like the operation thing? So how in the hell are we supposed to get to that thing? You know what I'm saying? With all due respect, sir, maybe you should have paid more attention in biology class. The first layer you have to go through is the cell membrane. The cell membrane consists of a lipid bilayer and controls what goes in and out of the cell. The membrane is in constant motion and serves to protect the cell. Possible points of entry include a process called diffusion, where particles can enter the cell by moving down the concentration gradient. Another option is through a protein channel, which can let molecules in through size and selection through charge. However, the most feasible option is probably the process of endocytosis, where the cell engulfs matter and pinches the cell membrane off so that the matter is inside a bubble within the cell. So, we made it in the cell, so what's the next base of operations that we need to get to? Right after we get through the cell membrane, the first thing we will encounter is the cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like substance that houses all the organelles. We should expect to see lysosomes, which contain digestive proteins to digest and dispose of waste. These lysosomes are built by the Golgi apparatus, which is responsible for packaging and storing macromolecules. It consists of pancake-shaped sacs, which are allowed to house many macromolecules. However, if we're, if we're looking at some real damage, the best target location would be the mitochondria, which produces energy for the cell. The mitochondria consists of an outer membrane, which acts as skin, and an inner membrane, which is folded many times before an acrist day. Many of the folds maximize surface area for chemical reactions to occur, allowing maximum efficiency of ATP production. G Willikers, man, you're a goddamn genius. So which for the mitochondria? Now, how do we get to the nucleus? Eh? That leads us to our final organelle, the endoplasmic reticulum, or the ER for short. There are two variants of the ER, the smooth ER and the rough ER. The smooth ER is used for storage. Its tube-like sacs make it ideal for storing molecules such as steroids and lipids. Where we need to be is a rough ER. The rough ER is a site where the cell creates and packages proteins. It consists of sheets of membranes that are aligned with ribosomes which assemble the proteins. With all those ribosomes and its sheet-like structure, the rough ER is able to effectively create and package proteins. Because it creates proteins, it needs instructions from DNA. Therefore, the rough ER is directly connected to the nuclear envelope. We will be able to directly infiltrate the nucleus from this link. We must further discuss how we can destroy the nucleus. With the nuclear technology that exists today, we can do a lot of stuff. We can blow it up. We can do anything. Uh, General Tate, are, are you okay there? 
General Tate, wake up, General Tate! Oh, I got them.